Hello everyone, you are welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says, a badge is pulled by two tag boats. If the resultant of the forces exerted by the tag boats is a 5,000 pound force and is directed along the positive x-axis, determine a detention in each of the ropes knowing that the angle alpha is equal to 45 degrees and b, the value of the value of alpha for which the tension in the second rope is at its minimum value. So let's look at how you are going to solve this question. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram for this system here. Okay, so let's look at that. So let's take this to be the point B. Okay, and then what I'll do is that I will draw the x axis. Okay, let this represent the x axis. Okay, so from the question, we've been told that the resultant force is directed, okay, along the positive x axis. Okay, so that tells us that the resultant force is going to be in this direction. Okay, that would be the direction of the resultant force. Okay, so this is the 5000 pounds force. Okay, all right, let's take note of that. So now let's draw the the, the the force vectors okay for the tension in the two ropes okay so let's look at that okay so we have this to be t1 okay let this represent the tension in the first tag boot and then let this represent the tension in the second tag boot okay so this becomes t2 okay and then this becomes what t1 okay so let's look at what you are going to do next so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to draw another vector okay to be parallel to what t1 okay so this is going to be that vector okay and then i'll draw another vector to be parallel to what t2 so at the end you're going to have a parallelogram shape okay all right so this now also becomes our t2 and then this also becomes what our t1 okay so let's take note of this all right so let's look at something here this angle here is given to be 30 degrees okay and then this angle here is given to be 45 degrees okay so from that you can see that this angle here is going to be 30 degrees because this angle here and then this 30 degrees angle here are alternating so this angle also becomes 30 degrees okay and then you see that here also becomes 45 right here also becomes 45 because they are alternating okay it is alternating with what the 45 degrees here okay so now our main goal here will be to find the value for this angle here okay so let's look at how you're going to find our value we know that the sum of all the angles in a triangle should be equal to what 180, right? So we're going to have that angle to be 180 minus 45 plus 30, okay? And then this will give us a value of 105 degrees, okay? So this angle is now 105 degrees, okay? All right, so now. All you want to do is find the value for t1 and then t2 okay so let's look at how you are going to do that to find the value of t1 and t2 we can use the the sign rule here okay so let's look at what you are going to have so you are going to have t1 okay divided by the sign of the angle opposite to t1 which is what 45 degrees so t1 divided by the sign of what 45 degrees and this will be equal to t2 divided by the sine of the angle opposite to t2 and then that is what 30 degrees okay and then this will be equal to the 5000 pound force divided by the sine of the angle that is opposite to it and then that's what the 105 degrees so you can use this equation to find the value for t1 and t2 to find t1 you are going to have t1 divided by sine of what 45 degrees so I sign off of 45 degrees and then that will be equal to what 5000 divided by what sign of what 105 degrees so we will now solve for t1 okay so you're going to have t1 to be equal to 5000 divided by 
sine of 105 degrees okay multiplying sine of what 45 degrees okay so let's look at what you are going to get okay so i'm going to punch everything at once okay so we have 5000 divided by the sine of 105 degrees multiplying sine of what 45 degrees okay so this will give us a value of 3660.25 pounds okay so that'll be the value for t1 okay so now let's find t2 okay so for t2 also we are going to have t2 divided by sine of 30 degrees okay and then that will be equal to 5000 divided by sine of what 105 degrees okay All right, so now let's solve for T2. T2 is going to be equal to 5,000 divided by the sine of 105 degrees multiplying sine of what? 30 degrees. Okay, so let's simplify this and see what you are going to get for T2. So I'm going to punch everything at once. You're going to have 5,000 divided by sine of 105 multiplying sine of what? 30 degrees. That gives us a value of 2588.19 pounds okay so that'll be the value of what t2 okay let's take note of that so that's how you calculate for the value of what t1 and then t2 okay okay so now let's move on to the second part of the question Let me free up some space so that we can continue. Okay, so the the second part of the question says that we should determine the value of angle alpha for which the tension in the second rope is going to be at its what minimum value. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to solve this. Okay, so let's look at something here. Okay, so let's take this to be the point B. Okay, let's take that to be the point B and then let's take let's take this to be the tension force t1 okay this is tension force t1 okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to draw okay the i'm going to direct the second tension force in such a way that it is going to make an angle for 90 degrees with what t1 okay so i will let it make an angle for 90 degrees with what t1 okay so here is it okay so i have directed okay t2 okay to make an angle for 90 degrees it was t1 okay so what that means is that t2 and t1 are now what perpendicular the angle between them is what 90 degrees now okay so look at what i'm going to do next so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to direct t2 okay to be okay to, I'm going to direct T2 to make any other angle with what T1 apart from what 90 degrees. Okay, so let's look at this. This is an, another T2. Okay, this is T2 making a different angle with what T1. This is T2 again. Okay. So all these are T2. Okay, they are all T2. T2. They all, they all represent the second tension force. Okay. So with all these arrows that I have drawn here, all with all these vectors that I have drawn here, you see that the one with the shortest magnitude or the one with the smallest magnitude will be the one that makes an angle for 90 degrees to what T1, right? So you see that T2 is going to be at its minimum value when the angle between T2 and T1 is what? 90 degrees, okay? So for this reason, what you're going to do is that you're going to redraw the force system here, okay? But you see that previously the angle between t1 and t2 was what 105 okay but what you're going to do is that you are now going to make that angle what 90 degrees okay and then when you make that angle 90 degrees then you are going to what use that to find the value of what alpha so let's look at what is going to happen so now we know that t2 is going to be at its minimum value when it makes an angle of what 90 degrees to what t1 okay because that will be the only time that t2 is going to have okay the smallest magnitude okay because any other angle apart from this is going to be higher than the one that 
the one making an angle of what 90 degrees is what t1 okay so let's look at what is going to happen so i'm going to redraw the first diagram okay so let's look at that let's take this to be the resultant force okay and then let's take this to be t2 and then this is what t1 okay all right so now we are going to meet this angle here at 90 degrees okay which means that t2 is what perpendicular to what t1 right okay this angle is still 30 degrees okay and then this is the resultant force which is 5000 pounds and then this is what t1 this is what t2 okay so we know that now that t2 is making t uh, t2 is making an angle of what 90 degrees with what t1 that means that t2 is going to be at its what minimum value okay all right so let's look at something here that should be angle alpha so one thing you have to know is that when this angle here becomes 90 degrees okay this value is going to change okay when this angle here becomes what 90 degrees this value is going to what change okay so all we are trying to do is that you want to find the value of what alpha that you can put here in order to make this angle what 90 degrees right because the value of alpha that you can put here to make this angle 90 degrees is going to be that value that will make t2 perpendicular to what t1 and then we know that when t2 becomes perpendicular to t1 then t2 is going to be at its what minimum value okay so all you have to do is what to find the value of what this alpha here and then from this point you can see that it will be easy to compute right because we already know that this is 90 degrees this is 30 degrees okay so to find the alpha it is going to it is going to be what very very simple so let's look at that so we know that the sum of all the angles in this triangle should add up to 180 right and then one side is already 90 degrees which means that the other two sides must add up towards 90 degrees also so we are going to have alpha okay plus 30 degrees okay to be equal to what 90 degrees right so alpha is, is going to be equal to 90 degrees minus what 30 degrees and then that gives us the angle alpha to be what 60 degrees okay so that will be the value for this angle here that means that if alpha becomes 60 degrees then t2 is going to be at its what minimum value this is because when alpha becomes 60 degrees t2 and t1 are going to be perpendicular to this to each other and if that happens then t2 is going to be at its what minimum value okay so that's the explanation behind that so now you know the value of what alpha but don't forget i said that if this angle becomes 90 and then this also becomes what 60 degrees then what is going to happen is that the value of what t2 and t1 are also going to change right because if this angle changes this angle is also going to change and then that's going to affect the value for t2 and t1 and in this case you know that t2 is going to be at its what minimum value all right so all you have to do is to find the minimum value for t2 and that is going to be easy right because you know that these values here are not going to be the same as the previous one that we calculated because the angles have changed okay so now let's look at how you're going to find t2 and then t1 okay so let's start with what t2 so since you now have a right angle triangle to find t2 you can just take sine of the 30 degrees okay and then you know that that will be equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse and then t2 is now the opposite side and then the hypotenuse is now what the 5000 pounds force okay so from here okay you see that t2 okay is going to be equal to 5000 multiplying the sine of what 30 degrees right so let's see what you are going to get for that so you're going to have 5000 multiplying what sine of what 30 degrees okay and then this will give us a value of 2500 pounds okay so this will be the minimum value for what t2 and then that will okay when the angle is what 60 degrees okay that will okay when the value of what alpha is what 60 degrees okay that's the value for what t2 so you can also go ahead and calculate for t1 if you are asked to calculate for it okay so for t1 we can take cosine of the 30 degrees angle and then that's going to be equal to the adjacent side which is what t1 divided by the hypotenuse which is what the 5000 so t1 okay is going to be equal to 5000 multiplying cosine of what 30 degrees okay so that's going to give us t1 to be equal to let's see what you are going to get 
5000 multiplying cosine of 30 degrees okay will give us a value of 433 0.13 pounds okay so that's all for this lesson thank you very much for watching this video if you find this video very useful please kindly like the video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel your subscription helps the channel a lot thank you very much